What's up everybody, this is Jesse from Nexus 5 Soft Modern. Today I'm going to show you how to swap between different ROMs using multi-ROM and I'm going to show you Firefox OS, which is a new ROM that has just come out in the past month or has just been ported over to the Nexus 5 in the past month. So the Nexus 5 is a really great device to really experiment with different ROMs because a lot of developers, they will, they will code on the Nexus 5 first or Nexus devices before other Android devices because it's stock Android and it's really easy to work with. If you use multi-ROM, it's a really good tool to try out new ROMs that maybe don't have a lot of the features ironed out yet and might have some stuff missing or maybe some features are broken. Um, but it's really fun to try out what's, what's new and what's on the horizon and know that you can swap back to a ROM that works really easily and really safely. You don't have to do a whole lot of other work. So first you need to make sure you root it. Check out the full tutorial for links on how to do that. You need to make sure you have uh, a custom recovery installed, and there's also links for that in the full tutorial. Once you do that, you're going to click on the link for the Firefox OS. You download the zip file. Once you do, reboot into the recovery and hit advanced. Go over to multi ROM, tap add ROM, and then tap make sure you have Android selected, have don't share selected, which will make sure that you can have two different ROMs that you can boot into at two different times. Hit next tab zip file and then locate to where you've downloaded it. In my case it's in the downloads folder right here, Firefox OS um, 0.2 hammerhead.zip. Just give that a tap. It's going to ask permission to do it, swipe to accept. And now the app or the ROM will install. When the ROM installs it's actually going to be added to the bootloader list so you can boot to that or you can boot to your main primary ROM. You can swap back and forth through your own leisure. Once your phone reboots, you'll see you have an option to boot into the internal, which is whatever ROM you're using last, or Firefox OS. I installed it twice, so I've got two of these. You can actually install as many ROMs as you want to for it just the only limitation you have is space. So select it, and then hit boot. Your phone will now boot into Firefox OS. I'll give you a walkthrough. This is what Firefox OS looks like. It's very similar to stock Android. You'll swipe to the right to unlock down here, and you get home screens just like you would on um, most of the Android skins and ROMs. So uh, a couple of things aren't working right out, right out of the box. You, you don't have a uh, camera, you don't have Wi-Fi turned on, and you can't use your SIM card. So you can't make phone calls, you can't send and receive text messages, you can't connect to the internet, you can't take pictures. There's not a whole lot you can do. But the point of this is just to experiment with this and to just try out something new and know that you can switch back to what was working very easily. But I'll show you some of the things that it does do. Um, you can swipe around on the home screen, it's just like this. You've got a notification uh, shade that you can pull down, which is something you're used to. You've got some quick settings here. You go to settings. This icon, this is very familiar. Um, so there's no nav keys down here except for this icon, which is your home button. This is your home key. You'll long press to open recent apps. And then you get this sort of um, HTC old school sense for the One X or uh, old Windows phone. Uh, overlay where you can switch apps like this and um, an app that you don't want to use you can just swipe it up to close hit the home key to go back um, a lot of these apps are very what you uh, would you expect the messaging app looks pretty good it's pretty normal even though you can't send messages the keyboard's nice and big although um, you'll notice if you type there's a lag between the sounds and the actual keys that you're pressing but that's okay um, some other features that we've got we've got um, we've got these folders you can tell that Firefox wants to integrate itself with the internet and um, with things that it thinks are relevant to you. So when you open up these folders, you'll see that <clears throat> it doesn't really load right now. Let's see if I can show you an example. Well, it's social. Oh, I'm not getting it. So, okay. So a lot of things are still a little, a little buggy right now. But the idea is that when you open a folder, normally what you see, you'd see this. You'd see uh, the apps will set up here, and then if we're connecting to the internet, I'm assuming, you can automatically search for things that it thinks that you're going to want. Um, it has this search bar at the top, which is very similar to Google Now, where if you tap up here, if I can get it to work. So um, you, can, uh, you can tell that this is a feature that if you type in, you can type in an app, you can type in uh, a contact, that it's going to try to predict what you're looking for, very similar to Google Now. So that's a plus. So the thing about Firefox OS is that it does everything you're used to, and it does it in a way that you'd expect, but it does it, it looks a little bit different. It looks different enough to make you feel like you're using a different OS, which is pretty cool. A lot of these features haven't been fleshed out yet. We don't have access to the phone. We don't have Wi-Fi, things like that that we need. But those things are going to come. The ROM's only been um, around for about a month, so with more time, these things are going to be added. But the cool thing is that in the meantime, you can use it, you can try it out, and if you don't want to use it anymore, you just turn off your phone, and you can use multi-ROM to boot back into what you're used to.
just tap here, go back to internal, boot it up, and in my case, I'll get back to stock Android, switch back and forth very easily, no problem. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the full tutorial and check out Nexus 5 Soft Monitor. Thanks, everybody.